so hi friends today i'm going to explain the prime number uh, let's first let's create the prime number class here go to the new and create a java class so i'm just naming the class name as prime number so first create the main method so initially we have to take the uh, uh, my intention is initially we have to check uh, the input value from the program so whether the input value is prime or not so for that i am taking the int number that i am taking from the input so that usually comes from args so normal args is a string so if you want to convert this args into integer so we need to use a integer parser so that in integer dot parsing so it the statement it converts arcs of zero it is a string content so it will convert into integer and store into number variable so along with that uh, first i'm going to the write the first statement into i equal to zero i less than equal to number i plus plus so basically why i have taken this one two n normally prime number means the number let me take prime number means the number which divides by one and itself for example if i take the five as the input it has to be divided by one and five means only two times it has to divide it it should not divide by any other dividends between one and five so then that is we call as prime number for example if you take the five as the prime number it would uh, divided with one and five in similar scenario if you take the non prime number if you take the six it usually divided by 1 2 3 and 6 so the count of uh, here a uh, number of dividends is 2 here it is 4 so it is not a prime number if you see here 5 is divided by 1 and 5 is the total dividends are being 2 then it is the prime number So let's start with, so first we have to divide it by 1 with our number. So for that I am stating the if statement, number uh, modulus by i is equal to equal to 0, means remainder equal equal to 0 means uh, I am going to increment the count for that I am taking one count variable. So so I am just incrementing count equal to count plus 1. Rather than that we can also take the simple statement for it. Like uh, you start writing the count equal to count plus 1. Just write count plus plus which is equal to count equal to count plus 1. So after this statement, just we need to find out that whether the count equal equal to 2 means then this is going to be prime number system dot out the printl. This means the given number is prime number. So what is the prime uh, given number we have given? number is the variable so if it is not count equal to equal to 2 means we just have to print system dot out dot print ln the given number is is not prime number
just here also we just need to pick the number so for this let me edit the configuration remove this so we are going to write the uh, uh, run the java program so for that we need to find the so this is the prime number our class same prime number name i want to give the name of it <coughs> and i just want to pause the 5 as the input value and it will come or read as part of the arcs of 0 so let's run this one so it is running so it is showing the answer as the given number is prime number 5 so similarly if you run the any uh, negative case like so as we discussed just i'm giving the 6 as the input value i'm clicking on ok so rerun this one it will come as the given number is not prime so in the similar scenario so we, here we just find we just have taken the input value from the uh, argument parameters and we just find whether the given number is prime or not similarly i i just want to find out the set of prime numbers within a given range from the input for example if i want to take the uh, input values from 100 to 200 within 100 and 200 what are the prime numbers and how, how much the uh, means how many numbers means the count of prime numbers we need to find out within that range so let's take the start count and end it instead of this zero position i take as a start count and similarly i will i will prefer same statement here this has to be end count i am marking this of one second argument <coughs> i will talk uh, i will take another first statement it has to be int k equal to start count k less than or equal to end count k plus plus so let me keep entire thing inside of it only thing he, here is uh, i want to get the number here k value i need to k, take here so along with this whatever the count we are keeping here right that we need to keep inside of it right? because uh, we are uh, keeping over the multiple ranges right so for each checking checking for the each number the prime number count we need to uh, the dividend kind count we need to find for the prime number so that the count we are keeping inside of the first statement so let's run this one sorry we haven't paused any value it will not give any value so let me edit the run configurations so i will give from 200 to 300 this is the range i just want to apply So I just run the program, see the output, what is coming here. So if you see here, we could find the numbers here from the given number is 211, 227, 223. These are the prime numbers. And also I want to find the total count of prime numbers within a given range. For that I am just taking one temp variable temp equal to 0 so whenever count equal to 0 0 I am just going to increment the temp value then at the final statement we can write system dot out dot until then the count of prime numbers from so here I just want to mention start count to end count is temp so so rather than comma i just have to keep the plus why because 
uh, for the system dot order printer and we have to use the appenderized plus for your string if you run this one the total uh, prime numbers between the range of 200 to 360 that is the answer so uh, normally if you take the real time uh, process scenario usually we cannot append with plus symbol rather than there is a simple approach we can use the string dot format uh, there we can keep entire thing into your string for example this we can as control x into a string you can take remove this params instead of this start count you can just keep percent means modulus d In, instead of this endpoint count mo again modulus d even for temp also you can keep modulus d so after closing this one total modulus uh, total these three values we need to represent total three modulus d's are being there for that i am just keeping the in comma separated value end count and the final one is 10 if you run again the same program there won't be any change in the output but only thing the format what we are printing without using the append operator plus we are just using the percent d and replacing with the corresponding values the final output is 60 count is the prime prime numbers count is 16 within a range of 200 to 300 so thanks friends we can meet up for the next program